How has Mr. Beast become one of the most successful YouTubers after having a channel that failed? Let's get into his success story now. Mr. Beast was born on May 7th, 1998 in Greenville, North Carolina with his earthly name of Jimmy Donaldson. When he was 12 years old, he posted his first video of him playing a Facebook game called Battle Pirates. His love for games got him to start creating videos of the games that he was playing at the time. But unlike the crazy viral videos that he produces today, these only got a few likes. It's okay, that was eight years ago. But this is the first point we can take away from Mr. Beast's story. He started doing what he loved at a young age. He didn't wait for someone to tell him what to do. At the age of 12, he posted a video of a game that he was playing. He put himself out there. Most people I speak to have plenty of ideas of what they want to do. They are not acting on it. Kudos to Jimmy for acting on what he wanted to do when he was 12. His channel was not growing like the Mr. Beast you know. Instead, it took him two full years to get to his first 1,000 subscribers. I resonate with that so much because I've been doing this for more than two years and I'm still not at my 1,000 subscribers. This was in the golden age of YouTube when there was not that many people making videos and it was easier to stick out. And even though his growth was slow, that did not stop him. So in 2012, he created his second channel with the purpose of being all gameplay commentary videos. But this prompted him to delete his first channel and only work on this one. He was frustrated with the lack of success he was having. He had failed in terms of success on YouTube, but that failure was not meant to be permanent. He would take all of what he learned from his first channel and bring it to his second channel. Now that's the second thing we can learn from Jimmy's story. We cannot give up after our first attempt. In the beginning, there is so much to learn. And with YouTube specifically, because I know a decent amount about it now, there's video creation, there's video editing, there's storytelling, there's titling and thumbnails, marketing, and so much more. It's a complex topic. And if you want to be the best in anything, that's why you must learn to keep going and must keep learning from the mistakes you make along the way. Even if you have two years of them, it doesn't matter how long. All of it is just more information to use on your future successes. Now, after a while, he decided to stop making the gameplay videos. They were taking up a lot of his time. Then one day, he decided to make a video called, How Much Does PewDiePie Really Make? Which was completely different than his gameplay videos. He experimented. He tried new things to see what worked and what didn't. He tried another series called The Worst Intros, which got him some initial traction on YouTube, where he introed another video into his video to add some humor. But then in 2017, he decided to radically change his concept of YouTube videos and created his first really viral video where he sat down and counted to 100,000 100,000 ladies and gentlemen in one sitting following up that success he created another video where he bought ads in his town to prevent t-series from passing pewdiepie in the highest sub count and they even had an ad for him at the super bowl that's wild it was not until he decided to go ahead and do these crazy things that would get people's attention no matter who you were like reading the dictionary or spinning a fidget spinner for a whole day. Then he decided he was gonna to count to 200,000. This goes to show that just because you're failing now, what you're doing does not mean you will fail forever. What happened here was Mr. Beast made himself entertaining by doing the things that other people would not even think about doing. He had to do the impossible to get the impossible. So in whatever you're doing, do not be afraid to make the jump and do something crazy that no one has thought of before or where people would think you were crazy for doing that thing. Now he gives tons of money like tipping $30,000 to someone after just ordering water or giving a homeless man a house. He also found tons of success in videos where he forces his friends to do things and be the last man standing. Currently he has 25.2 million subscribers and is growing at an extremely fast rate. 
He has found success in doing the things that other people would not do and by being a good person like donating money or even his latest video where he planned on planting 20 million trees with the help of the community and donations. I got the chance to meet him two weeks ago at Vid Summit. He's a genuine guy who wants to make the best content out there. And you could see after eight years of hard work, he is hitting the success he wanted all along. I'm excited to see what more Mr. Beast can do with his ideas and how much of an impact he can have. If you haven't yet, check out his most popular video right here.